of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at a new feature trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi from D23 Expo. Mm -hmm. Now, unlike the last one we saw, which showed how film grads got apparently got a chance to start working on some Star Wars, yeah. upcoming Star Wars flicks, this one is actual like behind the scenes footage with actual some bits of new footage as well. Mm -hmm. Now they showed this was one thing they actually release that they showed during the live action movie panel yeah. at D23. So, I mean, I'm not hoping, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not excited for much because it's mostly behind the scenes stuff, but I'm curious to see where they're going to go. Yeah, see what um, type of stuff we're They also released see. the new batch of character posters, which mm -hmm. cuts off the top of their heads. I'm not, you know, I'm not usually a fan of those. I'm actually not. Like, yeah. when they cut the, I'm like, just give us the full. Damn I get character. the I get the minimalist look, but I'm just like. Just give us the full damn character, please. You know. <laughs> and you know, and of course they did release one for um, General Leia as yeah, well. Yeah. They did, yeah. And so, yeah, let's let's just get let's to just it. Dive right into this. We haven't yeah we haven't got any footage since like actual footage since um Star Wars Celebration yeah. this past uh, May. Yeah. So um, let's just dive right into this for the star. This is for Star Wars: The Last Jedi official. D23 featurette trailer. So here we go. Let's dive right into this. Everybody start. Three, two, one. Action. Episode eight. Gosh. The first film didn't even have a number. Yeah, the first film never did. Yeah. That's Anthony Daniels for those. Yeah, for the C three PO. Yeah. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Oh, this show that scene. Things happening story wise, I never could have imagined. And even though everybody knows that it's the second in a trilogy, it feels like its own thing. Oh, first of all, shut up. Go. Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures. Oh, it's so cool. Animals, practical effects for the animals. They're making sure they keep it. Oh, that's Laura Dern's character. Ryan needs to work on his Wookiee selves. Ridiculous. <laughs> New director, I can't even just learn a Wookiee sound. Do you think I'm going to learn a Wookiee sound? Yeah, I remember. It feels like the storylines become more established. I mean, she does. But we get to know these new characters. Also with the characters that we know and love. We're seeing their lives change. Oh, it shows the scene where he wakes up. Everything's being shifted in the opposite way to what the audience expected. Oh, so there's Benicio Del, Del Toro's character. Star Wars which we actually don't need. He's nicknamed DJ. Yeah. Day one of a hundred. Of a It's like some kind of casino. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's has hard. a real spiritual depth to it. Is it? It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it. It's cool seeing the fucking. It's a rat! Hey! It's a rat! It's a rat! <laughs> That's cool. So this movie is still coming out. Um, sorry, we're a little teary. -eyed. Um, this movie's still coming out in December. And December is actually surprisingly packed, considering. I think what it was it um, you know how like with certain games when you go online to go like in game stuff or something like that, they always say oh December of this because it's like they don't really have a release date yet. I think that's what they do with films because it's like we want to put it here, but it's like let's try to see. I think, because they haven't really given us, a, they keep saying Christmas, so I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be in December, but what part of December? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, here I know it's probably going to be Christmas, because they always kept it, that's what they did with the last oh, yeah. three movies. And from what we saw, it looks like there's a, um, 
obviously there's gonna be a lot more to it and everything. Yeah. We saw like quick shots of Laura Dern's character. We saw a, sh a shot of Benicio del Toro's character, yeah. which we don't fully know his. They still really yet. haven't dived into who um, he's playing at all yet. We see more of what happens the scene after the, the last scene in um the Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, he's okay. handing, when she's handing them the lightsaber and stuff like that. Because apparently, I believe, I may have misheard. Somebody can correct me. Uh, Ryan Johnson requested that that scene be uh, to, added, be cut, be cut, yeah, from added. Force Awakens and be added to. It's like, Last they, so like they, sh they shot the scene, but they just cut it to where it's like it ends right there. I, I, and then I may have mis up. I may have misheard. Somebody can correct me. I may have misheard. Um, but we saw like. Seeing where Finn's finally waking up, we, we, see, start, we see that, and then um, they're still sticking to what what everybody loves, which is a lot of the practical effects. Yeah, a lot of the, the you know, it, which is really cool. You can see how he evolved in practical effects compared to back then. Where here, it's like even when you look at it, it's like you only need special effects. It looks really genuine right there, the way they're doing it. So it looks yeah. pretty cool. I really, they're still sticking with that, which is awesome. Um, uh, of course, you see it looks like you, you see more of um, Captain Phasma. Pretty much, it looks like her character definitely, definitely survived that uh, yeah. the explosion. Pretty much, if you guys haven't seen the last one, you need to see it. But it uh, survived the explosion. Um, but you see a lot more. It shows a lot more of the characters. And again, sorry, like by the end of it, we got a little bit choked up because it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see. You know, uh, Carrie, Fisher. Carrie Fisher, pretty much, because it's like. She she was this film, you know. She was everything. So and she apparently was the third part in the trilogy too. She was supposed to be a main part of it in the third, in the, yeah, in the third part of it. So now I know they're gonna be doing a lot of rewrites. They probably have something to plan. They already confirmed. They already, already confirmed. Went, they already yeah. did like a while, like a while, like earlier this year. They already like they already had like a big meeting. They already rewrote the script for um episode yeah. nine. They rewrote a lot, pretty much where it's like even though she was supposed to heavily be in it, but now that it's gonna be. It's going to be very odd in the next film just to see, you know, an episode. And how can Ryan Johnson not do a Wookiee sound? Uh, I can't do a Wookiee sound. I can't do a Wookiee sound here, but you're working on Star Wars. You got to do a Wookiee sound. You got to do some form of Wookiee sound. <laughs> so, and also we saw a lot more of um, practical effects for the animals, for the yeah, aliens. Well, that's what I said. That's what I mentioned pretty much. You saw a lot, of the a lot more. You see a lot more of the practical effects. Again, um... Uh, you see, we got to see Finn. It looks like he's going under. He goes back undercover. We see it uh, like a new like <coughs> ally because it, it was that it was that short Asian chick. Yeah, I know because I know they said. Cause remember at Star Wars Celebration, they're saying her character is new. And she is a part of the Rebels, so it looks like he's going undercover mm. with her. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how her character takes. Um, it'd be pretty cool to see if um Carrie Fisher's daughter they evolve her character a little bit more because she was in the last film. She was technically in the last, so it'd be cool to see her her character maybe evolve to where it's like in a way she starts, you know, maybe a little bit more into it because you saw like a quick shot of her in it. Yeah. So I mean, I really can't wait after seeing the first t uh, teaser. Um, oh man, I just want the full, full, full like first full trailer for it. You know, I just want to see the first full trailer to see. And you know, again, they've been keeping also Benicio del Toro's uh, a character under wraps. But you get to see his character a little bit, so it's like it's gonna be interesting who he's playing. You know, I'm, I'm like, I, I want to say who he could be, but it's like I don't want to spoil it, or even I don't want to jinx it, because it's like you know what, let me just wait. Yeah, you so know, I mean, it's it's it's, it's like I, there's a whole list of theories, but uh, I really can't wait to see this film. I'm really super excited. I mean, right now they are starting to film young, these are the, the young Han Solo film, so that one's gonna be coming out the following year. So maybe we get maybe a quick tease or something. But um, I do see, I honestly do see, because uh, the following weekend is, uh, the, the upcoming weekend is um, Comic-Con. So I'm hoping, we're crossing our fingers, we get some type of full, first full trailer for it. Yeah, I'm next, next weekend is going to be pretty uh, so We're going to be pretty slammed with a lot of well, stuff. Well, if, hopefully. If they release, officially release some, a lot of a stuff. A lot of stuff, because we're going to be pretty slammed and try to get this stuff up as soon as possible. You know, because I don't really start editing until... Because we usually do these recordings on Sundays, pretty much. And I don't start editing and start posting up as fast as I can until, like, the following day. Because that's... At work is when I have the best editing system, pretty much. I mean, my laptop is hanging in there at this point. So, yeah, so I mean... Yeah. We'll get it up as soon as possible. But I really can't wait to see the first full trailer for this. Even behind the scenes of this, it's like... I'm really getting pumped up to see a lot of these characters coming back again. To see where it, the story's taking... 
Um, that, to me, the last one, yeah, it was awesome, but it was just like, like everyone said, it was like a rehash of A New Hope, you know, the way they set it up. So, so next one, up is a rehash of The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> hey! Um, but no, no, but you, you get what I'm saying, where it's like, to me, this is where it's really, the writing really has to kick in. This is where it's going to really see, okay, is this a, gen a good, genuine yeah. follow-up? You know, this is a yeah. way to start seeing where we're going to go with these yeah, characters. Only, of course, only time will with tell. tell. So. so, other than that, though, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about stuff like this, hit that subscribe button down below or at the end of this video. And again, as well, if you are excited, super pumped, even when we've seen this feature right, maybe we missed something in this feature right that we didn't mention, definitely let us know in the comments. But if you love the reaction, definitely comment down. But you know, just let us know how pumped you are for this next Star Wars. I know I am. I can't wait to see this. Um, super pumped. So definitely let us know. Yeah. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And that was another Star Wars filled episode of SRB. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.